All right. So we are here, and this is Dinosaur Technology, the first five phones I ever had, ever. First five cell phones. So starting out, we have here the Nokia 1221 in silver. This is a track phone. Uh, this was my first cell phone ever. Bought it for like 30 to 40 ish dollars with my saved up allowance money when I was like a preteen, early teen. And I got it at a drugstore called Eckerd, or Eckerd Pharmacy, Eckerd, Eckerd's, uh, this is back in Atlanta, Georgia, before it was eventually acquired by, I think it was CVS or someone, Rite Aid, CVS, one of those, back in uh, 1998 or 1999 or 2000 or 2001, one of those years. Um, I mostly used this phone to play with Snake, you know, uh, Snake, the classic, as it was literally the only game on it at the time. Um, or the only one I was aware of. So, yeah, the very first few times I ever used this was to like call one of my close friends to let them know, hey, I finally bought my first cell phone. I was super excited, unknowingly burn burning away like all the limited amount of like units it had, units, minutes that came with the phone. So, yeah, I think I ref refilled the units like once more after starting, after like the starting amount they, they gave you with, and then I just never refilled it ever again. So yeah, even at that age, I just felt it was like a waste of money. It didn't seem like, you know, getting your money's worth putting units on this phone. So they just burned out too quickly. You know, you have like text time, talk time, same amount of units. So it didn't work. So fast forward today, it's the most nostalgic phone I have. So that's that Nokia 1221. Next up, we got ourselves the LG VX3200 flip phone. My second cell phone ever and first real cell phone that I had an actual contract with. It was uh, Verizon instead of prepaid units. Um, and this was around, I got this phone, I think 2005 or 2006. I use this phone mostly for like text messaging and actually call, calling people and also for storing small notes and voice memos. I did that a lot actually. So this was kind of decent. I actually had the, uh, that blue, <laughs> uh, I guess protector on the phone. I had that for a long time, so you kind of see like all around the phone and stuff like that. Yeah, this is like old school. I had that short little antenna, and actually this one still works. I haven't, uh, I haven't had any issues with it. Surprisingly, it still works to this day. It turns on and everything like that. So in the back here, I'm just opening it up, trying to do it with one hand, so you can kind of see the uh, what the battery looks like. And yeah, there we go. Yep, lithium lithium ion, 3.7 volts, 10,000 milliamps. Can you believe that was back in the day? Or I said, what, 10,000? 1,000. 1,000 milliamps, not 10,000, 1,000. Crazy how far we've gone since then, right? But yeah, it's still a beast. It still works to this day. Now, obviously, it's not charged, so I can't really turn it on, but... Yeah, it does still work. Right now I'm just doing like the flip test. You know, you want to do the one-handed flip test just to let you know that it it can one-hand flip. So, yeah. And I've, I've had some times with this one. But out of all of the phones, this is the only one that still turns on and still works. Like, once I actually charge it, yeah. I kept it in, I guess, fairly okay condition. You can tell by the keys, though. It's been through its years, you know. It's been through the ringer. But um, yeah, it's 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 still useful to this day. You can't call with it, obviously, but it, it turns on, and I can still use like the limited functionality of it. So that's that. That was the LG VX3200 flip phone. Next up, we have the first Samsung phone here. So this is the Samsung SCHU340, also a flip phone. Uh, this was actually my third cell phone ever but the second one of its kind so i bought this phone twice the first time i bought it was uh when i lost well the first time i bought it i lost it on the floor of like a anime convention never seen again this is back in like 2007 i think so i ended up buying the phone again i think like the next day it was very cheap i got the same identical phone and everything like that there wasn't on anything on it i took like maybe one selfie picture or something like that and that was it so there wasn't really any data on there i didn't really have contacts filled out because it was kind of new at the time so it was annoying 
that I lost it, but it was cheap, so I just bought it again. It's like, whatever. So, it was also my first camera phone. Over there, you see, that's where you put the little charms or whatever like that. Uh, but yeah, first camera phone. I took advantage of it every time I could. But, um, God, it's the quality wasn't really that good. Like, it had photo capabilities, but, like, compared to, to today's standards, it's, like, hot trash if we're going to compare it with today. But, you know, it was a nice little flip phone thing. As you saw in the back, it had that little area for the charm. Oh, yeah, and it, it melts now. Like, all that black gunk and stuff like that, that's, that's the black part of it melting. Like, the plastic and whatever, yeah. It just melts now. That's how old it is. It just melts and gets all over your fingers. I'm, I'm just kind of like... <laughs> anyway, next up, we got Nokia Express Music 5130, or the 5130. This was my music savior phone, my fourth ever phone. I used this to listen to music on the daily. It was my personal MP3 player of choice, basically the equivalent of an iPod back then. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, that's Samsung phone. That was back in 2007, I believe. This Nokia Express Music phone... I got this around 2008, 2009, I think. This was also the first phone I had access to the internet via the mobile web browser, if I remember correctly. Um, I have various recollections of going online to check out websites like at the time. So also to note, I had this phone when I went to take my real estate license exam, but due to the rules of the exam, they said to not bring any phones in when you come to take the test. So I left this phone home and traveled on public transportation without it which I never do because I always need to have some travel music to pass the time. I felt completely naked until I got back home. So it was boring and awkward and I was forced to interact with the sound of the world and actually acknowledge reality instead of being ignorantly blissful within my own mental music fantasy daydream world. But it was okay. <laughs> Once I was reunited with this phone and I had my music, I was back to jamming out and everything was good. But uh, yep. I love this phone. This is one of my favorites. The Nokia Express Music 5130. Such a decent phone. Such good memories. A lot of nostalgia and parts of it still break off as you can see. But that's okay. We don't we don't mind that. So And now we are getting to the number 1, the GOAT, our fifth cell phone ever. This is the Samsung T669 Gravity T, also known as the Samsung SGH T669, and the Samsung Gravity Touch, and the Samsung Gravity T. So when I got it, I got it as the Samsung Gravity T. So yeah, this was a beast. It's nice. Had a nice little big screen. As you can see, I'm just letting you see all the surrounding parts of it here, all the little buttons and dials and knobs and whatnot. And this is like, this is this is the kicker right here. Bam, look at that. Ooh, yep, this was a texter. You know back when they had like the sidekick and all those little sliding text phones? This was mine. This was my like variant of that. Because I didn't have enough to get the sidekick at the time. So I was like, oh, I'll, get a, I'll get an alternative. And I saw the Samsung Gravity T. I'm like, yep, that's it. This is the one. So... This I think I got like, what, 2010s? Like the very early 2010s, yeah. This was the, this was the thing, you know? This phone was one of the uh, competing rivals against this uh, Sidekick phone brand at the time. So yeah, at the time this was my most advanced phone and it could pretty much do it all. Video, photos, texting, calls, internet, music, gaming, etc. Like everything. I didn't really do much gaming on it. Other than maybe like some very simple light games, it was, it was mainly like my pocket media and social device that also functioned as a phone. Oh yeah, this, real quick, uh, Abacus Takeout, Philadelphia, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, have, uh, have a look at that beautiful keyboard, man. That is just uh, the memories, you know, the memories, you know, we, we just text it away. I can remember like, just being on social media, just looking things up on Google, just texting, texting, texting. It was actually pretty efficient, if you can believe it or not. Like us having to type in those little dots and whatnot. So, but yeah. So, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. And ever since then, I went to the Galaxy side. So, we out.